All right, this is the last book of the Read Aloud Challenge. We have done 140 books. This is Outside Inside by Leon Pham. This just came out, really just came out in the past like month or so. Um, and I think it's absolutely perfect. Kind of highlights the reason why we're doing this read aloud challenge. I think you'll get it. Something strange happened on an unremarkable day just before the season changed. Everybody who was outside went inside. Everyone, everywhere, all over the world. Everyone just went inside, shut their doors, and waited. Well, almost everyone. Some people needed to be. where they needed to be. Outside the sky was quiet, but the wind still blew, and birds kept singing, raccoons came out, and squirrels played in the streets. But the cars stayed away, the world felt a little different. Inside, we baked and cooked, made music and watched TV, we read and played games. Some of us worked a little, some of us worked a lot, and some of us couldn't work at all. We all felt a little different. Outside, there were fences, both real and pretend. Hmm, pretend fence. Maybe that, that six feet of distance we were all practicing. Swings sat still and slides were lonely. Bells didn't ring and halls were empty. We had birthdays without parties, shared words without sounds, and reached each other without touching. The world was changing a tiny bit outside. Birthday parade, signs. Inside we waited, and we worried, we laughed, and we cried, and we tried to breathe. We made things together, and did things alone. We hoped, and prayed, and wished. We were all changing a tiny bit inside. Outside, the world kept growing. Inside, we kept growing, too. I think that's one of the things that I noticed the most about all this, is even in this, I guess, 140th day of school, I noticed 
notice kids getting so much taller. So why did we all go inside? Well, there were lots of reasons, but mostly because everyone knew it was the right thing to do. On the outside, we are all different. But on the inside, we are all the same. So, remember last week when we read Love is Powerful? That was illustrated by Luan Pham, and this book is by Luan Pham. The hearts are the same. And we remembered that soon spring would come. inside. And outside. Love the back of this can kind of see some of the things that have happened. We have hooks where masks are hanging, what is undoubtedly like a Zoom call. No, no, no. No, no, no. That's just a friend. There we go. So it has been 140 books read this year with, I am thinking, a ton last year. I'm going to have to count that up. I'm thinking we're at about 200 read-alouds so far since all of this started last March. Um, in fact, I know that's probably where we're at. We're probably right at 200. So thank you, thank you. It's the end of the read-aloud challenge, but the read-alouds are going to continue um, because it's something that I, I hope you all enjoy. I know I enjoy reading to you, and... Um, hope you love this book. I think it's really important that we read this on the last day of the challenge. Have a good one.